Good morning, Three Kings. I just thought I'd share a wee video. Um, it was actually something I heard about last lockdown and I really wanted to do it, but never got around to doing it. And now I live in a place that has an avocado tree and they are all really ripe at the moment. So I have picked myself a couple of avocados and they're ready to go. And I know um, lots of you might be seeing these at home. Maybe your family eat them, maybe you eat them. If so, um, you might want to join in and see if you can do it. So what it is, is preparing the seed inside the avocado so that you can grow your own avocado tree from the seed. This won't be done in one video, but I'll show you how to start it. Um, I have, yeah, well, let's just go and see. I've already pre-cut this because I'm not sitting at my kitchen. My kitchen doesn't have good lighting, so I'm in the lounge. So I won't be cutting it here, but... Um, probably ask a parent um, to supervise you or to cut it first for you. Cut around the avocado, try not to hit the pip so that you can just give it a twist, or the seed I should say, and the seed will be in there. And not to be wasteful, to have a bowl to tip the avocado in so that someone in your family can eat it, if not yourself. Um, and you don't want to cut too deep so that it damages the seed in here. You just want to cut so that it separates the two halves and then you'll just scoop it out. Um, what I read online was that it's a good idea just for a day or so to clean this up and then leave it on a paper towel maybe by the windowsill to dry for just one day and um, then it'll be ready. So I've already done that with another avocado that I had and on it, it should look like that, and that's after, I, I did it yesterday, after a day of drying. And then you need to carefully skin it. Um, and I have some toothpicks. And you will just pull off, shouldn't be too hard, he's hoping. I say that and then I find it very tricky. Uh, there we go, it's a bit better. Best you can, pull off the skin. This just helps it to um, not have to do it itself. It might speed up the process a little bit. So I read. None of this, what I will be telling you, um, is fact from me because I haven't actually done it myself. But um, Mr. Guru, the internet man, told me, and his pictures showed me that he had a lot of um, very successful avocado trees growing from this um, this way, this method that he that I'm sharing with you. So hopefully, oh my apologies, I should have done this a little bit sooner. Um, Maybe I should have pre-prepared one before. Never mind. I know you're patient. Um, what I might do as I'm as I'm picking off the skin here, I might tell you the things you'll need. Uh, I'll also try and write it down. I'm not very tech savvy, as you may have noticed on my previous YouTube videos. YouTube is something I've not done before. Um, you'll need three toothpicks. Which are these things? They might come in a container like that. You'll need a glass or a plastic cup. Doesn't have to be see-through. It's it's best if it can be, so that you can see um, the growth as it happens. And um, you'll also need some clean water, which you'll need to um, change every few days, just so the the water that your seed is um, growing in will not um, get murky and yucky. You'll need to just check it every few days and um, change it out if you see that it's getting a bit dirty and gross and that is all that you need very simple so I am struggling a little bit to clean up my seed but it is coming off and um, does take a wee while but in the scheme of it not very long really um, and I hear that once you've set it up, it should take about um, 10 days, roughly, I believe, 
for you to start seeing some visual um, growth from your seeds, some roots forming, which will be quite exciting. So I won't be able to show you that on this video because it's only day one, but um, I might be able to give you an update if there is an update with my seed. They tell you, they recommend that it's best to only do this to seeds that are ripe, uh, avocados that are ripe. Um, that means the seed is ready to start um, um, getting ready to grow roots. If you do it too early, it'll, it'll, it's not quite ready. So I don't know if it means that it'll stop it from working or if um, it will just take longer. But so that works out kind of perfect. So do it when, if you have avocados, do it when they're ready to eat. Ask a family member, of course. Save the remainder like I have in my bowl. I might have avocado on toast, which I quite like. Um, and yes, right. We are so close, so close. Thank you for your patience. Um, and once you have... I took my nails off. I had some sharp nails on and I removed them too early. Right. Very excited. I um, If this does work, I'm very excited indeed with the thought of um, being able to grow my own. And in fact, he was saying on this video that I watched that you don't even need to ever plant it. You can just keep it continuously growing in your house if you wanted to, which I quite like the idea of, seeing we have an avocado tree in our backyard. Um, I share a backyard with a couple of other flats, so, which is great because it is fruit, full of fruit at the moment, full of avocados I should say, and um, yes, I mean, there's no way I could eat them all. Um, it's good to share it, but um, and we probably don't need another avocado tree. Seeing we have plenty enough on that one, we can't eat all the avocados. We have to leave some on the verge for people to help themselves. Right? Okay. Good enough. Okay. Here is my peeled avocado seed, and what you will notice on yours is you'll have some things called fault lines running down. I don't know how well you can see that in the light there. There's some strong lines, kind of like veins running down your avocado seed and you don't want to be piercing those. There will also be um, <coughs> a knobbly part and that is going to be the bottom of it. That's that knobbly part with a little dot there is where the avocado would have originally been hanging from the tree and that's actually where the roots going to come out of so what you need is to put that down in the facing the bottom because that is where the roots going to come down so the top is where there is no knobbly bit and avoiding the um, fault lines, the veiny quite parts. There, you might be two or three. I've got two. Well, just one that wraps all the way around. I don't want to poke a hole in those. I don't want to interrupt those. But I want to be placing three toothpicks. And these toothpicks are to hold it upright in my cup once I put it in. So um, you'll pierce three and not all the way through, just enough that they're strong enough they're not going to fall out. And this is just to balance it very carefully into the cup there. Voila. And then you're going to add your water in. Hopefully I have enough. Until it comes up to about halfway over the avocado seed. Like that. And like I said earlier, you will need to... Um, just keep an eye on it that it's not getting so dirty and yucky and then place it ideally in a sunny windowsill or maybe outside if you've got an area where it can be outside not bothered you don't want to be fiddling with it the idea of having a clear cup or glass or container you could use a plastic container of some sort is so that you can see after about 10 days hopefully when the roots grow you'll be able to see them growing you'll first of all spot some roots growing down there and then eventually at the top it will break and out will come, um, I believe, a part of a leaf 
will start forming up here will come out here and then that will grow and the roots will continue to grow and then you can choose whether you want to transport that into some soil or if you just want to keep it like this because apparently it can keep growing like this for a very long time. So just keeping an eye that you're topping up the water, topping it up because it will be disappearing from the heat and also the, from the avocado and also cleaning it just which just means taking this out tipping the water out and giving it some fresh water you will start to see it gets a bit murky and you don't want that because it'll grow some kind of algae I think so I will come back to you hopefully in a couple of weeks and show you some lovely roots growing on the bottom of my avocado seed hopefully you can join in too and we will be successful avocado tree growers Alright, all the best. <laughs> Let me know if you get it done, it'll be great. See ya.